This is the post credit scene for Spider-Man No Way Home. This scene played after the literal definition of peak cinema. Now whatever your thoughts are on the post credit scene, the premise behind it must have been exciting for all. Because it teased the fact that Tom Holland Spider-Man was about to get the black suit in the next movie. We would finally get a new Bully Holland instead of, you know, sticking to the basics. I'm gonna put some dirt in your eye. And all seemed well, except for the fact that today, Sony just threw that out of the window with a brand new trailer for Venom The Last Dance. I mean, what is going on? Like Sony, how are you this incapable of sticking to a continuity between any of your movies? But you know what, I'll give them a benefit of the doubt for the second time. Now I'll try my best to explain what is going on with this scene and hopefully it leads to a big multiversal event at the end of the movie. But as always, this is just a theory and theory can only take you so far, so do take this with a grain of salt. The first idea that I would like to propose is the idea of variants. We know what they are, so presumably once Eddie and Venom return to the home universe, they return to a version of the same bar except for the fact that it's in the home universe and the bartender just so happens to be played by the same guy and now since this movie is called the last dance now hear me out on this it's probably almost definitely the last film in the venom trilogy this could be because venom is dying in this movie and this is probably a side effect of him eating his own child in the last one this might lead him to leaving behind traces of the symbiote wherever he goes and that is what the bad guys are using to track him down hence this scene of the movie makes sense but that is a very boring unimaginative theory but what isn't boring and unimaginative is you hitting that subscribe button. Now I have a more insane theory as to what's happening in this movie, though it is highly unlikely, and that is that this movie is an adventure through the multiverse, a crappier Sony version of Deadpool and Wolverine if you will. This then leads to a chase between Eddie and Venom and Toxin and Orwell Taylor, who is played by Shiratul Ejiofor. They then use the offshoots of Toxin to hunt down Eddie and Venom since they physically can probably not travel between the multiverse. This then leads to the overall symbiote god aka Null being mad at Venom for creating this impure symbiote since Carnage is Venom's son and Toxin is technically Carnage's son and hunts Eddie down and Venom for this reason. But obviously if this multiversal chase does go down and Taylor ends up in the MCU, wouldn't people be confused since he also looks like Mordo who is MIA? We do know from rumours that Peter Parker will also play a huge role in this movie though I don't fully trust Sony with this mainly because of Madam Web. But if it does happen then it could be that Toxin is hunting down variants of Peter Parker and Eddie and Venom are hunting down Toxin and that Orwell was hunting down Eddie and Venom, leading to a whole movie to be a chase across the multiverse. Oh wait, hasn't this happened before? We do see Reese Siphon in this and he did play the lizard in Amazing Spider-Man and gave his voice in No Way Home. But I genuinely think that this is Sony just not caring about the continuity of not only the MCU but their own movies or it's just Sony adding random scenes to the trailer to bait audiences into watching the movie. Subscribe or I'm gonna put dirt in your eye.